Hello and welcome to Road CC. Now, behind me is what I think is the prettiest bike in the Tour de France, but let's dive in and take a proper look. Now, before we get into the details of this bike, I do want to apologize for the noise. I am crouching in the heat in front of an air-conditioned bus, and oh, how I wish I was in the bus. Okay, this is the Villa La Trestina Zero SLR. It is absolutely stunning in this kind of candy to black with the mirror underneath. It really is gorgeous. These bikes aren't really that new, but Villiat does provide Team Astana with two bikes. You've got the Aero Falante and you've got this, the climbing and general racing bike, the Zero SLR. This bike is actually a very interesting one because Astana aren't sponsored by Shimano, so they're a bit more free to do their own thing with their group sets. That means that while we see the new 12 speed shifters we see the mechs here it's not a full 12 speed group set that's pretty obvious with the old and very worn looking chain sets there obviously because the old chain sets are 11 speed and the new system is 12 speed those are the new chain rings so these are the new 12 speed chain rings this is the 5440 tooth version and back here we have an 11 to 30 tooth cassette now tucked away behind my leg here is a ceramic speed ospw that's the oversized pulley wheel system these are massive jockey wheels with ceramic bearings in them the idea is to smooth the lines within the chain and reduce friction whether it actually does anything, we're not sure, but they do look really cool. Karima sponsor the team with their wheels and these beautiful carbon rims are laced to the hubs. And then we have them wrapped in Vittoria's Corsa G 2.0 tubular tires. So it's a very traditional wheel set. While that is traditional, the brakes are not. These are the newest Shimano Dura Ace model. These are the calipers with the extra pad clearance. And we've got a 160 millimeter rotor up at the front with the 140 in the back. Then if we go up to the top of the bike, we've got a Villiers seat post that's carbon. And on top of it, we've got a pro logo and carbon saddle. Now the team has a choice of whatever saddle they want. This one is saving a bit of weight. Like many road race bikes that we see these days, even the climbing bikes like this, the cables are fully integrated at the front end. We've got a Villiers one piece carbon bar stem and this rider, the Italian Velasco, he is riding, well, it's a relatively narrow setup at the front, but also it's quite a short stem. And with this lack of seat post showing, he must be quite a small rider. The fully integrated bar at the front means that a custom computer mount is needed, but that also keeps things very tidy indeed. While this bike may not be the latest and greatest, I still think that it looks absolutely fabulous. And for me, it is the nicest bike at world tour level. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we've got a ton of Tour de France content coming up for you on the channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that.